constant correction of positions is probably one of the most annoying tasks in programming. As good as it is now that we have a macro that automatically recalibrates all the positions of a show, taking only the center position as a measure. An eerie relief not just for every touring production. All positions have been programmed in the pre-programming. But when I run my show live on the real stage, for the first time the positions are not right. By using a single reference position I create a macro. This macro writes values into the offset settings of the fixtures and all positions are exactly as in my pre-programming. Simon Plotowski has programmed this software and I'm so amazed at the power of this little tool that I wanted to make a video about it. I note that during my pre-programming the offset values in my patch are zero. I run a sequence in which I have saved my four positions. I choose a straight, a roof, a cross and a band position. Important! For the later correction I have to program a position where all the fixtures are concentrated in one point. I decided for a center position. Now I simulate the live situation by changing some lamp positions. I move this truss down a bit. I pull these lamps apart. This truss should hang a little farther back. I twist some of the lamps a little bit to the left or to the right. And some lamps are tanned a bit. After that, the whole thing really looks like it can happen on a real production. And this is my previously programmed center position. To adjust the positions for the fixtures now, I first copy the center position to a new location. In preparing for this tutorial it has shown that this approach is the best. It's important that I have all exactly the same fixtures in both presets. Now I am correcting the new preset, so again that all fixtures are aligned exactly to the same point. Then I update my new position preset.
Now I open the freely available software from Simon Polotowski and find there a macro with the name Export for Offsetter. You will find the link to this software and all necessary macros at the end of this tutorial. I copy this macro onto my USB stick in the directory Grandma2 Macros. Next, I import the macro into my show. When I'm executing this macro, I get asked which is my reference preset, my original position preset, and on which memory space the corrected preset is located. Here I only need to enter the memory location number. If I have done this, I find on my USB stick in the directory import export two new files. Now I go back to the folder with the offsetter software. I mark the files offsetter 2.5 winexe and dialog.ui and copy them into the import export folder. Then I start the software and click on run offsetter. The software has now generated a macro and exported in the folder Grandmar2 Macros. I now import the macro into my show and execute it. Now, when I start my sequence with the positions, they are all like I set them up in my pre-programming. The professional will notice that something is wrong here. To show the exactly function of the offsetter, I unfortunately had to trick a bit. I will explain this later, but first I will show you what happened. My position presets still contain exactly the same values as before, but in the setup patch area, I can see that the macros has written values into the offset lines. In this way, I can compensate some small differences between uh, simulation and reality. Within the GrandMA2 world, it's not possible to simulate a lamp offset and I will show you why. I start a new show with 10 moving lights and put them in a straight position. I realize that the DMX value for pan is 50%. In the setup patch area, I enter 45 degrees in the columns for the pan offset. The moving lights in the simulation are still in the straight position, but the DMX value for pan has changed. That's because the offset area was created just for this case. Pictures that may stand in different angles to the stage axis can be conveniently adjusted in this way. I only need to remember five small steps. First, copy center position and correct the new preset. Second, import the macro export for offsetter. 
Third, run the macro and enter the two presets. Fourth, copy the files offsetter 2.5 winexe and dialog.ui into the import export folder and start the software. Fifth, import and execute the newly created macro offsetter.xml. The download link to the software is in the description under this video on the YouTube channel feeds.de. The next tutorial is about Q-Step Fader. How to create a fader that goes through the different cues of a sequence. To switch lamps on and off one after another, to select different colors directly or have direct access to the positions. So you should subscribe this channel so that you don't want to miss it. This is a tutorial from Feeds.de. My name is Feeds and I thank you for watching.